Cocaine is a hell of a drug. <laughs> top doctor is recommending the province continue with its prescribed safer drug supply program following a comprehensive review. This is an important program and we can do better at maximizing the benefits of this. You're not a doctor. You're a big fat curly headed fuck. But Dr. Bonnie Henry made a slew of recommendations on Thursday to improve benefits and minimize harms, including expanding the program by making it accessible to more people and offering more drug options. Diacetyl morphine or heroin in various formulations and different formulations of fentanyl need to be available um, through a, a, a program that has oversight and that when we have these new formulations uh, that we they're available in, in the, the the, air, the type of formulation that people need, so smokable versions um, as well as injectable version. If you have a government that is giving fentanyl to your children, as they are in BC, and notice your premier has a no fentanyl to kids policy, God bless her. Um, I know, and you're applauding. I mean, and I'm applauding, and I'm grateful. But how distorted is your world where you have to applaud the one politician's like, you know, we're not going to give fentanyl to the kids today. Okay. Other proposed changes include retiring the term prescribed safer supply and using prescribed alternatives to the toxic supply instead. Oh no. and expanding evaluation and monitoring, including greater emphasis on unintended consequences. The review admits that while there are promising results around safer supply, there isn't enough high quality evidence to describe it as evidence-based. Me fail English? That's impossible. It also acknowledges that diversion, people selling or giving away their prescribed supply is happening. See this, all right? Old man gave me that when I was in grade seven. Seen a lot of action. Nine millimeter. Safety always off. Told me he was proud of me once. Fucking prick. Diversion in and of itself isn't something we should think of as, as good or bad. Diversion is something we should think of as in terms of its un, unmet needs. So diversion happens because people's needs are not being met in other ways. BC's Minister of Mental Health and Addictions, who requested the review, says while they're still looking at all the recommendations, some are already in the works, including changing the program name and reducing the risk of diversion. You know, you can call a shovel an ice cream machine, but it's still a shovel. Our focus right now is to focus on improving the current model that we have. BC's prescribed safer supply program began in 2020, the first province to offer it, and was expanded in 2021. The goal is to save lives by steering drug users away from the contaminated, unregulated supply. In 2023, there were more than 2,500 suspected unregulated toxic drug deaths, the highest ever recorded in a year. Good job. This program, this policy, um, in, in its intent, uh, is an important part of the spectrum of medical care that we are providing and that we need to continue to provide for people who use drugs in this province. Yeah, we know it's wrong and never been done, but that's all secondary to fucking you and loving it.